I was actually working in the office. Uh, the waves were really, really good, and um, you know, making Julian in the final that was really exciting. And yeah, I mean, it, 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 everyone knows exactly what happened. It's been seen by you know, the majority of the planet. For last season, as we look at Fanning on the rankings, oh, you can see a little splash. Oh. Your mind just goes out to these people that you work with very closely and, and you consider friends. I think that was probably the same sentiment that everyone at the WSL felt and just immediate um, concern for their well-being. So climbing up with his own ability as he keeps his head down, Fanning with a thumbs up, he is okay. People who followed the sport already sort of maybe subconsciously respected everyone that much more because that was um, always a possibility around the world for, you know, since the sport's inception, 76. And it's interesting and I guess I suppose not surprising that it took that kind of instance for that to become a reality for the larger, you know, world population. You know, I heard someone say it's, it's not dissimilar to Tiger um, being attacked by a bear on the links at Augusta, and, and it is. It felt to me through conversations, you know, on the ground and with his camp that you know, his desire wasn't to sort of ply the celebrity angle of it. He just needed to tell how people, the world, how he felt and his story, and then, you know, he's focused on moving on. I saw one media report say it's like, it's like the anti-Kardashian phenomenon, like, you know, this is the biggest story on the planet, and you have this sort of reluctant hero, really, um, who is averse to capitalizing on it. He, you know, he doesn't want to, he doesn't need to, whereas a lot of other people, if even you know, half as scary an incident happened to them, they'd be trying to get on front of every camera and every radio interview and every you know, TV interview they could. Um, I think that just speaks to mixed character as like a human being. Like he's just you know, dusting himself off and readying for the road ahead. Did you get a couple punches in? I punched it in the back. <laughs> The sport, the a, previously the ASP, the WSL, has always had an intense personal and professional interest in shark behavior, shark research, and educating ourselves on emerging technologies to mitigate shark attacks. I think academically, it, they're very hard creatures to study. You know, I remember 20 years ago, the prevailing theory was that they were territorial. Now, the prevailing theory is they're migratory. I think they're very elusive creatures, they're very hard to study. and. If there was a technology that was proven to be 100% effective to um, protecting not only myself but the animals, then yeah, I think the WSL would embrace it 100%. Aside from this instance, we believe that it's an incredibly exciting sport and that the guys and girls are, are world-class athletes and that there's a lot of sort of aspirational and interesting and engaging things about professional surfing. And we're hopeful that, um, you know, we can do a good job of uh, pro illustrating those to people that are new. Um, at all times, um, you know, this instance now, it's, it's unavoidable in conversation and you know, it's not something that we're going to actively ignore, nor is it something we desire to actively exploit. Like, it, it just is something that happened and, you know, amidst, you know, the guys are going to be putting their lives on the line in a few weeks in Tahiti, you know, it never stops. So there's always something to uh, talk about and I think there's always something really engaging for both the initiated and uninitiated fans.